Hello, how are you? I hope you're good. It's super gloomy outside, so we're back at the right in front of the window space. Anyway, I have my Leaky Cauldron t-shirt on and I have my Gryffindor cardigan and it's like lightly misting outside. So I'm feeling like I am truly possibly sat at the Gryffindor common room. I've done all my homework pretty much. But today I'm here to unbox the wizarding trunk. This is a year five box. These are sent to me in exchange for an honest review. The wizarding trunk used to be ask a box. They went through a name change and it is a fairly small um, Harry Potter themed subscription. This is a bi-monthly box with eight to 10 magical items and it cost 55 US, do US dollars uh, plus shipping. They do a lot of uh, homemade or Etsy sourced DIY kind of items, which obviously is not for everybody's taste. A particular type of subscription that some people love and some people don't really like. I personally really like it, but let us see what's in year four, uh, five, sorry, which, um, which is funny because I'm actually listening to that uh, book as well. So it's very on theme. Um, perfect timing for me to open this, to be fair. So let's, oh my God, I'm already excited. Okay. Ah, no. <laughs> The very first thing that I see is obviously our list of everything that's inside is on this parchment paper. Um, and on the other side, it has our examination, you guys. So there's actually some questions here. Um, name a spell that makes conversations private. Mafliato. What charm controls non-human creatures? Non-human creatures? Uh, I'm putting this aside before I get to into that. The first thing we have is this envelope with, oh no, this has a, a stamp, like a purple stamp with two cats. And obviously this is Order of the Phoenix. We're gonna have an umbrage item and looks like it could be a, a wooden bookmark. It is, it's, it's a wooden bookmark. Oh my God, the wizarding trunk on one side and I will have order. <laughs> as terrifying as that is, I do like the bookmark. I think I think it's pretty funny. We all love to hate Umbridge. Then we have this big can container um, of, I'm thinking tea. Oh no, don't be ridiculous. Have another biscuit. Oh my God, iconic. This is when McGonagall had Harry in detention and he was like, had to take like a double take being like, what, we what? <laughs> have a biscuit potter. Oh, there's actually biscuits inside. I think there's like uh, chocolate chip ones. I think it's hilarious. Do I love the design? Not really. I feel like I, I love the idea. I love the idea. I don't necessarily love the execution of it. Even if it was just like a silver tin with a sticker in front of it, I wish it was a bit more. I understand that they went for like a similar to tartan, um, like Scottish pattern, because obviously McGonagall is very Scottish. Um, but it kind of is a little bit hard to read and a little bit busy and it's not necessarily the Scottish tartan per se. It just looks a little bit dull in my opinion, but I love the idea. I just not the biggest fan of the execution. Okay, next up we have, oh, another cream I think, uh, the Dirigible Fruits by Alchemy for the Skin. Uh, goat milk cream with shea butter, mango oil and pineapple extract. Okay, it smells really good. I, don't, I can't find this on the sheet, but I also don't want to spoil myself for other items. So I'll put this aside um, and come back to it later. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> this is a bright pink candle. It's actually really beautiful. 100% uh, that witch. Love that pun. Um, and it has the same picture of Umbridge here. And um, this is by Inflamere Candles. Inf Inflamere? And I think it's Inflamere. Scent is the high... The High Inquisitor's office, so it's like a little bit of a secret. Oh my god, do I want to, do I even want to smell what Umbridge's office would smell like? I imagine like very rosy. Oh, oh my god, okay. This is super minty, but like sweet peppermint minty. And actually, I feel like if you just, maybe there's a bit of rose, maybe it's just my brain. 
I feel like I could see Umbridge's office smelling like it's a super fresh candle, very pepperminty, um, and it ha actually has like some glitter on top because of course I think I think it's a really cool item. I think it's a really fun item, and I can definitely see Umbridge's office smelling like that because after a while, that fresh pepperminty sweet scent would get very sickly, and I can see myself coming to resent that. <laughs> I love that, I love that item. It's like a lucky dip because I literally cannot see anything in here. Oh my god, what? <gasps> I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? All the bubbles? And it's really securely made. Oh, okay, so this is like a potion replica, but it's so extra. I love the shape of the bottle. I love the inside. Oh my god, it looks like syrup. This potion is used to replenish the drinker's blood. Also, oh, this is the replenishing potion. Bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Sounds like something you might have gotten in Nocturne Alley. I really like it. I think it's very unique. It's very big. It's very heavy, like very proper. And I've not seen a replenishing potion from anywhere before. Okay, another thing. Ooh, I actually grabbed two things. So there's two pens. Um, oh my God, okay. We have, first of all, okay, we have the Peeves one. This is in a style of their other uh, pins, which is not necessarily my favorite style, personally. Very co colorful, it's just not my personal style for like actually pinning them places, but it's a Peeves one, so I kind of like give it extra points because it's a Peeves one. <laughs> uh, Peeves doesn't get a lot of stuff done, but the next one is so pretty. I'm not like, oh, it's beautiful, it's a Thestral. One of my favorite things out of the whole Harry Potter universe. I, I love Thestrals. I wish I had a Thestral as a as a creature in my forest. I wish I had a forest. But I love it. That's that's my favorite pen they've included so far, by far. Okay, we have another little scroll that looks like it could be another potion. Oh, oh my god, that's pretty. Okay, laughing potion tea. White tea infused with goji berry, pink rose petals, and hibiscus. And it has, oh my god, it has the ingredients, directions actually, on this little beautiful tag. But the actual potion vial that has, like, I will not be drinking this tea, I will be displaying this. This is beautiful, and you guys know I've already done the, the potion bottles as, the, like, displayable things with tea uh, on my shelves before, with the IKEA ones, which um, this is gonna blend into beautifully. I really like this. I might like this even more than this just because I prefer the label. Beautiful, okay. Okay, next up we have a little necklace. <gasps> what? Oh my God, I love this. I love this. So we have a necklace, which is I think of a crow's skull, but like metal, obviously. Um, and it's absolutely beautiful, it's very witchy. It's on a black, actually pretty nice string, like the, the you know, the waxed one, but uh, I probably will put it on a silver chain instead, because obviously you can very easily change that. I love it! I think this is for Bellatrix, if I'm not mistaken. This is a, a piece that Bellatrix wears. I love it! I, I really love it. In a very unexpected item, I would not have thought of putting that in a box in a million years. Um, next up, we have a little to-do list notepad, which I use constantly. Don't leave it till later, you big second raider. Which is, I think, from uh, Hermione's gift to the boys with the planners for, like, revision. Uh, I love that, and it has some like clocks in the back. Um, I like that. Next, we have a piece of paper. Good evening, Minister. Respectfully, respectfully, your senior undersecretary and high inquisitor. Okay, so this is a uh, Umbridge's letter to the minister, basically complaining about Hogwarts. Ah. Uh, is this cute? They include these type of things quite often, like little letters that you wouldn't. It's not like a replica, but it's something that you you know would have happened, you know? We have a visitor's pass, purpose rescue mission, which is obviously when Harry and the gang went into the ministry to rescue Sirius and they had these little leaflets given to them. Why did the ministry even let them in? Like, I understand it's like an automated system, but still, wouldn't you like protect from that? That was one of those things that I'm like, hmm. Then we have two prints. So first up, we have this actually really beautiful, um, print of Grimmauld Place. I love that. It's just really beautiful. I just, 
I really love that. Um, and the next up we have, oh, my baby test trolls. Like an info sheet type of beautiful print of the test rolls. I really like these type of blueprints. As you know, like my whole wall is like full of those. <laughs> I believe that's everything. I think I got everything from there. I think we had a lot of items this month. Obviously, this is not a cheap box, but as I said, everything is kind of homemade, so prices would be higher than, you know, something that's like wholesale um, than a bought easier. Uh, so it's very highly customized. So there's actually 15 items, although they, they're up, but they're including like this and stuff. Um, so what are my thoughts? I definitely like this one better than last one. I think last one... Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of, I still really enjoyed it. Let me let me tell you what my favorite items are. Absolutely adore the candle. Very good size as well for a candle. Um, I can't, <laughs> this is gonna be in my brain now that this is how Umbridge smells like. Although I still find that it probably has a lot of rose in there as well. Maybe that is also because I don't like rose scents. My favorite items are the necklace, the candle, the wood mark, this tea potion bottle, this um, Thestral pin. I do really like the prints as well. The couple of things that I do want to mention, I do love the idea of the pin, uh, of the tin. I just don't really love the execution, which I'm very bummed about. Another thing I'll mention is that there's no um, info on the cookies for like dietary restrictions and such. Uh, there's no label. I feel like it would be maybe a bit more responsible to send um, edible things with proper labeling. Same goes for the cream. I think, I thought that their previous creams had it, like the, the ingredients list, but this one doesn't have anything. Um, I mean, it has the ingredients here, but it doesn't have like the proper percentages and like, you know, the ingredients list, not just like the highlights pretty much. All the other items I really enjoyed and they fell into like kind of a middle territory where I'm happy with them, but like they're not my favorite favorite, but these are. <laughs> I really like it. I think to have one, two, three, four, five really, really great items, personally, to me, is a big win. It is a collaboration between small businesses, as this is small business as well. Um, so it's entirely up to you if this is your kind of style and this is something you would love. And if you think it's personally worth the money, it's all the time, it's personally up to you. This was, this was really cool opening this as I was listening. Legitimately, I was doing my makeup and listening to Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. So this is really cool just to kind of... All the umbrage items, like, I hate to love them. It makes me laugh, okay? We all know how it all ended, so it's all fine. I can laugh about it now. It's fine. Uh, but let me know what you think down below. What was your favorite item and what was your least favorite item? Uh, talk to me down below about all of that. Thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome, stay kind, and I'll see you next time. Bye!